Hi, I'm Susan Keefe from Rhubarb and Cod, and today I'm making carrot miso pappardelle. Carrots and onions often find themselves in supporting roles. Think about it. What soup doesn't begin with carrots, onions, and celery? But carrots and onions are capable of far more than a simple mirepoix. So today, I'm giving them some much-deserved time in the spotlight. This rich and creamy carrot miso pappardelle puts carrots in particular front and center. Without the aid of cream, a few boiled Ontario carrots are transformed into a silky sauce that coats each noodle perfectly. A few roasted Ontario-grown Cipollini onions and a hefty scoop of white miso paste bring umami to this vegetarian dish, while the carrots, in addition to adding body to the sauce, also give it that perfect hint of sweetness. This dish comes together in roughly 30 minutes and disappears even faster, so let's get started. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Place six to eight good-sized Cipollini onions that have been skinned in a large bowl and add a tablespoon of olive oil and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Give them a good toss. Heat one tablespoon of olive oil in a large oven-safe skillet until shimmering. Add the onions and brown on both sides before transferring the skillet to the oven and roasting for 10 minutes before flipping and roasting for an additional five. While the onions are roasting, peel roughly 400 grams of carrots. My carrots were on the petite side, so this was about eight carrots for me. If your carrots are larger, you may only need to use three. Cut the carrots into smaller chunks and place them in a large pot. Add two cloves of peeled garlic and cover the veg with cold water until fully immersed. Place the pot over high heat and cover. Boil the carrots until fork tender. While the carrots are cooking, finely chop a quarter cup of fresh chives and grate about a half a cup of pecorino. Set both aside. By now, your onions should be a deep golden color and quite soft. Transfer them from the skillet and place them on a plate and set them aside. Resist the urge to clean the skillet you roasted the onions in. We're going to make use of all those nice brown bits that have accumulated. Drain the carrots and garlic and place them in a large food processor. Refill the pot with cold water and place it once again over high heat. Cover and bring to a boil. Add the onions and one tablespoon of white miso paste to the carrots. Turn the food processor on and slowly stream in a quarter cup of sake. Blitz until smooth. Transfer the puree to a bowl and set it aside. Your water should be boiling by now. Liberally salt the water and add about 400 grams of pappardelle. Cook the pasta according to the package's directions. It should be somewhere in the ballpark of nine minutes. While the pasta is cooking, return the skillet to medium heat. Add two tablespoons of unsalted butter and about a tablespoon of sake. Deglaze the pan. This is why I wanted you to hold on to all that fond. This will give the finished dish a greater depth of flavor. Once the pasta is done, add it to the skillet. Add the carrot puree and a little bit of the pasta water and work the sauce through the noodles. Add the chives and toss until evenly dispersed. Divide the pasta across four bowls and garnish with the pecorino you shredded earlier. Serve immediately. And there you go, carrot miso pappardelle a tasty vegetarian dish that gives carrots and onions the respect they deserve. I hope you enjoy this one. Thank you for cooking with me. I'll see you all next time.